Ladies and gentlemen, if you throw water on cops, dump buckets of water on them or use the garden hose on cops, you go into jail. But if they pump multiple bullets in unarmed people, they get to go home and live life like no, they did nothing wrong. And what kills me is they be screaming, they got a gun in states that have open carry laws. Okay. And by them doing that, they're letting you know they don't want black people with guns. Why is it such a grand finale when a black person have a gun? You can even be a legal gun uh, licensed carrier and like Philando Castile, they'll kill you anyway. It don't matter, armed, unarmed, they'll kill you. But see, those folks can go home and act like they've done nothing wrong. Multiple Black people get killed in this country unarmed every single year. And they got their court system and the police and everything so rigged up. They don't go to jail. If this don't show you that the system is rigged, nothing will. Using water will get you in jail. Using bullets will keep you free. <laughs> that says it all right there. That says it all. So these cops are whining because a few people threw water on them. And this came out in New York Post, July 24th, 2019. So most of you probably already seen the video on this. And NYPD has busted three men, including a reputed Crips gang member on probation in connection with the caught on video water dousing of cops in Harlem in Brooklyn. Law enforcement sources told the Post Wednesday. I don't understand how these cops are so fucking heartbroken over water. <laughs> okay. They act like they are devastated that these folks did this to them. So they're just talking about the incident. And so what if that was a crip? He didn't hit, he didn't shoot you with bullets. Be glad you got doused with water. Water don't kill you like that. Somebody dousing water on you, that ain't going to kill you. Bullets will kill you though. Okay. So Thompson, a Brownsville resident was hit with charges of obstruction of government administration, criminal nuisance, and criminal tampering, disorderly conduct, and harassing. Oh, please. Yeah, you get all those charges over water, but you get no charge over a bullet. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Look, this place deserves to be gone, y'all. Anytime you running your laws and your system like that, you don't deserve to exist. He has more than 20 priors. I don't care about that. NYPD Chief of Department Terrence Monahan tweeted about Wednesday's arrest and did not name the suspect. Actions like we've seen in videos recently will never be tolerated in the city. Yeah, that won't be tolerated in the city, y'all, but pumping bullets in unarmed people, that will be tolerated. You will be arrested. Monaghan said in a tweet. These cops sound like crybabies. Okay, so you got doused with water. You lived another day. You get pumped by bullets, you're dead. NYPD Chief of Detective Dermot Shia also tweeted about the arrest and included a screenshot of the suspect showing him tossed tossing a blue bucket of water on a cop. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't take this seriously, y'all. We get killed every single year unarmed, men, women, and children. 
unarmed in the black community. And these mofos are screaming about water, water. <laughs> okay. Water. I, I'm sorry. I know I don't take this seriously. I think this is a joke. And they got, and you notice they can find all kinds of charges, but when they shoot us unarmed, they can't figure out what to do. Uh, the, the police need to do an investigation. You know, they didn't need to do an investigation for this. They went out there immediately and got these water people <laughs> that threw the water on them. But for somebody pumping bullets into you unarmed, they take forever to arrest. Um, they handle it like they handle Amber Geiger. Or they drag it all out like Danny Pantaleo. You putting somebody in a chokehold and killing them that was no threat to them. You know, case after case after case. Philando Castile, a legal gun carrier, killed reaching for ID that the cop told him to get. Betty Shelby, 900 yards away from the suspect, but felt threatened and shot him. You know, it, th this is just a joke. And these officers are whining, y'all, about water. <laughs> They're whining about water. So no, when I look at those stories and look at this one, no, I don't take it seriously, and I'm not going to. So two cops got soaked while they were handcuffing a suspect in the hood. And all of this arrest and people are going, oh, you poured water on this NYPD officer. You poured water on this person. Get out of here. There are far more serious things going on in this world. Somebody pouring water on you, that ain't serious enough to even be in the news as far as I'm concerned. So ladies and gentlemen, to hell with the NYPD and this old stupid remedial story about them getting doused with water. So what? We get doused with bullets. You tell me what's worse. And in many cases, you're doing this to people that didn't even have a police record like Philando Castile, Botham John. Those two it didn't even have a criminal record. Tamir Rice didn't have a criminal record. Jordan Davis didn't have a criminal record. All those people are dead. So don't come to me talking about some water being doused on some damn police officer. So the hell what? Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.